Hello, I'm Chris Essex with WTHITV.com, and this is your wrap recap. A look at some of the top stories you clicked on over on WTHITV.com. And this week, you checked out a whole lot of COVID-19 stories and a larger-than-life mural over in Paris, Illinois. But first, we need to talk about a very important security update if you own any kind of Apple device. If you have any type of Apple gadget, update it now. I mean a MacBook, an iPad, an iPhone, an Apple Watch, you need to get this done. Well first watch this video. This isn't because of some great new feature. The company actually fixed a critical security patch. So this involves a zero click. This in short means hackers could access your unupdated device without you doing anything. It's through iMessage. I've got more information on this hack in the story below, but in the meantime, here's how to update. Go to your settings, tap general, and tap software update. Make sure your phone says you're on at least version 14.8. Second up is a larger than life mural, and I can say that because I saw this thing personally. It's like two stories tall. From now, you'll have to take the drive over to Paris, Illinois to check out this large Brett Eldridge mural. He's a country music star born and raised in the small Illinois town. Mural and artist rock star in her own right, Becky Hochalter, was behind the work. You'll find this one on the side of the town's old Goodwill building. If you hit the square, you absolutely cannot miss it. And last up this week, COVID-19 remains in the news. The Vigo County Health Department hosted a drive through clinic at the fairgrounds this week and over 1,000 people stopped in and 200 people received their COVID-19 vaccine. Also, the Vigo County School Corporation changed its masking policy this past week. The new stricter policy mandates older students wear masks at all times inside the schools. Previously, the older students in grades 7 through 12 could take their masks off while they were sitting at their desks. We've got much more on these stories and a whole bunch more over on WTHITV.com. Now, you can follow me on Twitter at Chris underscore WTHI for, uh, I don't know, honestly, I don't tweet enough. I should probably get on that. I'll do it more, promise. Um, check out our website, check out our social media, and I'll see you next week.